Hello friends, good morning and welcome to my channel. This is Usman Salio. Um, I want to address another question that I received from one of my subscribers. Um, if you have any question or you have any problem with Revit, you can send me a direct email through my email address step by step online design at gmail.com you can also join my whatsapp group white boy enterprise the number plus two three two seven nine five nine zero two one one you can also visit my facebook page white boy enterprise i also want to say this to you if you send a question i don't respond immediately you need to be a little bit patient maybe there are some people who already sent question which i am trying to address i address this question as i receive them so let's go to rivet and see how we can address this problem but please don't forget, you can join my WhatsApp group, White Boy Enterprise. If you send any question that you want to send or you send it through email. This is another question which I received from one of my group members. And this is another video which one of my group members sent to me. But the line is a bit slow this morning. Now let's go to read it. This is the question. Um, this guy wants to draw uh, a wall 20 feet by 20 feet by 16 feet and back to the starting point. So without further wasting time, let's go to Revit. Now we are in the Revit environment. Now go to the architectural tab, working plan panel and select the ref tab button. Draw a reference line. At the top of the screen make sure that the line is horizontal if you are drawing in a perfect horizontal you see a tooltip that tells you the reference line is horizontal click then draw another vertical one if again if your reference plane is vertical you see the tooltip tells you that the reference plane is vertical click then go to the draw panel again with the reference line command still active, go to the draw panel and switch from the line tool to the pick line tool. Now enter 20 feet on the offset input and pick this line reference plane down and pick this reference plane to the right. Click the modify button. Now select this reference plane, click this button at this grip and move it down select this reference plane click this grip and move it down right click the reference plane again select grid similar use the pick line tool and enter a distance of 16 feet offset this to the left now click on this grip and move it down just to make it to differentiate it with the other ones. Click the modify button. Go to the architectural tab and select the wall command. Go to the property palette. Under the location section, change the location line to finish face exterior. Move the mouse cursor and click on this intersection. Press the space bar if the wall orient in the wrong direction. And click on this intersection. This intersection. This intersection. Now move your mouse cursor and click at the intersection of this bottom part of the wall. Click. Press escape twice. As you can see through the reference line, you know that from this point to this point is 20 feet. Let's dimension and see and find out if I'm right.
you see 20 feet so if you try to dimension let me change the dimension location to face of wall face if you select the face of this wall and try to dimension number one you cannot dimension a face of the wall with another face of the wall that is not parallel but you can dimension to a face of the wall to another point on the other wall now if i open my mouse cursor and press the tab key you see i have 20 feet one 31 i have 20 feet one 21 30 second 32 seconds so if again i take another dimension and try to dimension at this point where this other wall stop i put the mouse cursor and press the tab key i have my 20 feet exactly so to remedy this situation you need to treat the way the wall joint looks let me click on the modify button and go to the status bar and change the view detail to fine then i'm going to change the deactivated thin line okay now i have 20 feet here you see the 20 feet reference we are the reference plane is so to remedy this situation you need to address the way the wall joint to do that go to the modify tab geometry panel click the wall joint tool and click where the two wall the two or more wall meets you have these options at the moment it says but you have the other option this middle one which is miter then you have the last one which is square off when you do you see the way the wall is square off even the dimension that i was drawn previously because i square off the wall the dimension rivet asked me to delete the dimension i'm going to delete this dimension by right? saying yes so you see uh, i'm going to select the dimension and remove them then i'm going to remove the reference reference planes i'm going to delete the reference planes i'm going to dimension this diagram but don't forget to change this to wall face click on this face and this click on this face and the end point of this line click on this face and this you can even dimension the loop wall if you want to right click the sheet all and select new this will bring the new sheet dialog box i'm going to select a custom title a custom blank title block if you want to select a custom title block click the load button i'm going to click ok now the new view is name is on name so let's leave it as it is because this for just a practical purpose now let's delete all the other sheets by click by highlighting them right click and select the delete option with the new sheet or name sheet active go to the floor plan category hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the blank sheet to the blank title block click move it to position it and activate the view change the scale to from 1a to quarter it goes off the screen but don't worry right click and select deactivate zoom out by rolling the mouse wheel backward click on this model drag it until it center on the blank title block you can use your arrow key to position it now let's go to the quick access to and click the print button in the print range section click select view or seat and click the select button on check view we have only one sheet on this project click it and click ok click yes accept the default name click ok click yes you can save this wherever you want to save it i'm going to save mine on the desktop
You see, this is your final result. Okay, friends, um, I hope this tutorial is helpful. Please, if you have any question, you can send a question through my email address, step by step online design at gmail.com, or send it through my WhatsApp line. Join my WhatsApp group, you can send a question, I will respond to the question as soon as I receive it. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, visit my Facebook page business page thanks very much for watching i'm here to receive your question i hope to see you in the next class goodbye